Hey there, I'm Hunter Howe. I'm one of the designers for The Sims 2 Open for Business. It's a pack all about creating businesses and sending your Sims out, making some serious money. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff in the game. Here's my business. This is a toy store. It's about its second day that I've been running it. You can see right off the bat, I got a whole new business panel up there in the upper right. It gives me all sorts of information about my business. I'm gonna go right in here and start looking at my uh, crafting room in the back. So these are crafting benches. These allow me to make objects and so I can set them for sale later. Look, I can make all of these different toys and they can be placed in the world and used by like kids and adults alike. Here I can only make a toy robot. That's because of talent badges. So here in the uh, talent badges panel, you can see that I have a gold badge in sales and a gold badge in toy making, which is why I can make all these cool toys. I'm gonna choose to make one uh, clown in a box. And now I can customize my craftable. So when I upload my lot with some of these objects in it to the exchange on sims2.com, uh, other players are gonna be able to download them and you know they're gonna have my objects in the game, which is pretty cool. Here I can make a lot more profit by spending some time in making stuff myself. So I'm going to pick this guy up and put him in the world. I'm going to put him over here on a shelf. And as I said, I can sell anything out of the catalog as well. So I'm going to go decorative and grab this bear so I can put along with my other bears over here. And now I'm going to mark it for sale. So here I'm going up to my business panel. I'm going to use the for sale tool. So now I'm in for sale vision. I can see all the different things that are marked for sale and I can set their prices. So I want that to be expensive and I want that to be expensive and they light up so I know that they're for sale. And now I'm gonna open my store for business. This is an open closed sign that allows me to uh, regulate the appearance of customers on my lot. So I can close my lot and like clean it up after a, a full day of work. And my first customer of the day, here she is, Robin. She's gonna uh, go browse something, so that's good. Browsing is how you get to buying. So uh, she's got a buy bar above her head. And the buy bar is what tells me how interested she is in the object. Andy. Andy's uh, trying to sell her on whatever she's browsing over there, but he failed. And now you see the buy bar going down. Thanks, Andy, for another great, great move. Oh, flirting. That's another. That is just deplorable. So thanks a lot, Andy, for your effective running off of my first customer of the day. Great. You really want to keep that buy bar high by running effective sales socials. Like, you can get normal socials rejected in the game, you can also get sales socials rejected. This guy's looking a little confused, so I'm going to use sales and uh, may I help you. This is what you do when people look confused in your store, they might not know what they want to buy. I have all these various new socials that allow me to uh, interact with my customers and interact with my employees and uh, really keep things moving in my store. Let's try and get her buy bar up. I'm gonna use Dazzle. This is a gold level uh, badge social that only people who've reached the gold level of sales can attain. So, dazzling her, giving her a little razzmatazz. She's totally into it. And uh, hopefully that the buy bar reached the top. Great, and I got another customer loyalty star. Customer loyalty stars are essentially uh, a vehicle to rank up my business and make it more effective. As you can see, uh, over on the panel here, I'm tracking my number of total stars uh, among the customers that I have, and also my business rank, which is a, uh, a factor of those stars. If I get so many stars, I get so much rank. And you can see here, I can track which of my customers really like my place. So I'm gonna open the business perks. Business perks are cool little rewards that I get for ranking up my business, and I can pick which ones I wanna get as I go up these tracks. So I really want uh, Rally 4th, which is cool, and I pull out a megaphone and like rally the troops. I'm not quite there yet. I gotta take motivational speech, which is pretty cool in its own right. You wanna make sure you have the right people and the right tasks. So Andy, it's a great world out there, and you are rejecting my uh, social. Thank you, Andy. Another great move by Andy. I'm gonna change my prices. Changing my prices is a good way to get more customers and get people more interested. It's pretty much the first thing that a customer looks at when they decide, do I want to buy this object or not? Ah. I can reprice everything in the store, and I think I'm going to knock down the price a bit. I can set it to anything, but cheap's probably the best thing to do here. And now we'll see if our customers are a bit more willing to commit some cash to my business here. They're looking a lot higher than they were before on that little buy bar. So I'm going to run the hard sale on her. This is sort of a way where I sacrifice customer loyalty in order to get a sale done. 
Uh, Cause I need some cash to keep my uh, store going here. Uh, yeah, you know you want it. Yeah, it's a bear. Everybody loves a bear. Here you go. Yep, reached the top of her buy bar. She decided to get it. And Andy's back. What are you doing, Andy? It's not what you were supposed to be doing, that's for sure. So I can go to him, management, get back to work, Andy. Maybe do something uh, useful for a change. Andy, what are you going to choose to do now? I can't directly... Oh, hard sell. You're not even good enough for hard sell. So that's not very good. Thanks a lot. Great. Uh, my customer loyalty is going down. My business rank is going down. And he's going to the clown box. Not the best employee I've ever had. You can't control them directly, so you have to manage them effectively. And when an employee stinks, firing them pretty much one of the only things you can do. Andy, you're fired. You're out of here. Thanks. I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. This is tragic, really. Thanks. We'll take the smock back. You know, nice looking outfit underneath there. He's just some dude that I saw out in the neighborhood, and I decided to hire him. But, you know, that's just a day in the life of my toy shop here. And I'm actually going to hop over onto another lot and show you some of the other new cool stuff in Open for Business. So this is another house that I've made using some of the cool stuff from Open for Business. And you can also see up here that I've got some of the mascot sculptures. The ninja, the knight, the diver, and the gorilla. These all come with uh, outfits that your sims can wear as well. So if you want to make ninja burger, you can make a ninja burger by putting everybody in a ninja outfit and selling up burgers at your restaurant. The other thing you'll note here is the elevator. The elevator allows a sim to get from floor to floor, obviously, and do a couple other fun things and some other potentially disastrous things. Uh, and here's my salon chair. And yeah, it's not just haircuts. It's really full makeovers that you uh, give people on these things. The great thing about this is that you're actually making over the person, and that's how they're going to be saved. I've sent people to uh, play with the toys, some of these uh, younger members of the family. This is just to show you that all these things that you craft, like these from the toy crafting station, can be used in the game and are actual objects. You know, they're not just for selling, they're also for using. We're having a great time here with the water wiggler. That uh, looks like fun. As I said, a bunch of people could come and play with this at the same time. So let's see what else is going on in the house. Now uh, you're able to set all the things you make for sale, like uh, pies and cakes. And I can set someone up to start essentially crafting food. I guess that's it for this designer walkthrough. Uh, this has been Hunter Howe, and this is open for business. So you'll see it on the shelves soon.